Okay, this is part three of the editing behavior preferences in Reaper. The next option over here decides what happens when you're dealing with locked items and you're doing ripple editing. It decides the behavior. The default is that locked items will interrupt the ripple. Let me show you. So I created a bunch of tracks and a bunch of items on them. Now it's lock this item right here. With this unlocked and ripple editing turned on for all tracks, grabbing this one here affects all the items past it. So they move together. If I grab this one, anything past this point gets moved. If I grab this one or this one. But locking affects that. So let's lock this one. Now that locked item is going to interrupt the ripple. So if I grab this one right here, it moves all the ones before the locked item. It treats it totally separate. This side of the locked item moves together, just how it normally does. But anything before it only moves up to it. It doesn't move anything past it. So it basically interrupts it. But the next option interrupts it only per track. So if I grab this one here, all the tracks besides the locked one still ripple. But everything past the locked item right here is ignored. So everything goes except for everything past here. Although we can still grab this one or this one. But anything before this ignores everything past this item on this track. The next option allows locked items to be unaffected by Ripple. If we choose that, Ripple editing works exactly the same way, except it ignores just the locked item. So the behavior is exactly the same, except for this one item that's locked. And the last option, locked items are affected by ripple editing. So it's going to ignore the fact that it's locked and still move it the same way it normally does if it wasn't locked. So depending on how you want to edit your items when they're locked, you're going to want to adjust this. But by default, the lock interrupts the ripple on all the tracks. In the next video, I'm going to show you some of the other miscellaneous preferences in this preference tab. Let's go.